Berkeley professor has been pretending to be a Native American. She is not, she's a white woman, all right? Okay, let's put it up full mass. I mean, this woman went to extremes. Professor Liz Hoover of UC Berkeley has been caught in a web of lies as her lifelong claims to be a descendant of the Mohawk and Mi'kmaq tribes prove false. The accusations have been ongoing covertly, covertly since 2021. So people have been saying, hey, you know, um, I don't think she's Native American. That's according to Adrian Keen, friend and colleague of Professor Hoover. Let's put up Ms. Keen, okay. In February of 2021, Elizabeth Hoover's name, Professor Hoover, her name appeared on a controversial alleged pretendian list. Pretendian list, I'm not making this up. Since she had long asserted that she was in fact Native American. And the list contained the names of people who have actual undisputed Native ties or are even enrolled in their nations, offered to help her to write a statement about her identity to clear things up, she declined, all right? So we're talking about a friend of hers. They say, hey, obviously these folks wrong, right? Cuz we're friends. You wouldn't lie to me and tell me you're Native American and, and you're not, right? So, so let me help you clear this up. Um, I'm going to write the clarification point. You're a professor, you know how to do it. There's more, uh, let's put it up. So Keen, uh, by the way, who is a true descendant uh, of Native Americans, indigenous ancestry, then decided to launch her own investigation. Wait a minute, you won't let me clarify this for you? So she engaged in research herself. Keen stated her findings in a letter to Professor Hoover. On all of these consensus, your ancestors are listed as white on documents where they could presumably have self-identified, such as marriage license, they chose to identify as white. Additionally, they each have a massive web of relatives that chain off them siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, and so on. Making thousands and thousands of relatives throughout 200 years. None of them identified as Indian that I could find. End quote. Keen has now made her just made public on Twitter. Let's put it up. You clearly see, she says, I have been devastated, enraged, and exhausted over this for the past year. I have spent countless hours supporting her current and former students, trying to process my own emotions and having to continue on at an institution that gave her a PhD, her first job and tenure. She also says, I have so much more to say, and I will. The waves of harm extending from this are immense and difficult to even capture. So many actual native people have been caught in the web and there are so many more like her. I'm extremely grateful to the friends and colleagues who have held me up through this and supported me as everything fell apart over and over again. Adrian Keene wrote those. Uh, many are especially concerned that the lies have brought uh, Hoover uh, unique career opportunities and money. This was a previous job at Brown University, all right? Look at that, assistant professor of ethnic studies and American studies, well damn. Courses and taught seminars, introduction to American Indian studies, community engagement with health and environment, Native American environmental health uh, movements, uh, treaty rights and food rights, eating local in Indian country, thawing the frozen Indian, American Indian Museum representation, Native Americans in the media, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, um, overkill. Uh, really disappointed, obviously students deserve better than this. Now I don't give a damn, you lied to your administration. That's on you, you lied to these students, this between me and you then. There's more, Hoover has since released an apology. That'll do it. So she releases an apology stating that she will rectify the situation. I am a white person. Whoa, ma'am, you, you're so brave that you admitted you're a white person after everyone knew. I am a white person who has incorrectly identified as native my whole life. 
uh, based on incomplete information. I will continue to funnel the proceeds from my talks and book sales into Native Farm. I have put away my dance regalia. I will gear future research towards supporting people and communities with whom I have an authentic relationship. I mean, damn, Professor, are you going to apologize to the Native American? Huh? Let's put it up. Despite this, over 300 scholars have called for her to resign. Uh, make it 301, I'm calling for a resignation too. Including critical statements from people such as Audra Simpson, a renowned indigenous professor, Mohawk scholar Audra Simpson, an anthropology professor at Columbia University. Also argued Hoover's professional history shows she lacks the requisite ethical and academic integrity to be a professor or a social scientist, that is correct. Whether intentional or not, she has committed a form of fraud and has benefited from doing so, Simpson said. Explaining that it is possible that Hoover took jobs, fellowships, or grants away from actual native people. Not possible, she did. She absolutely did. This is not about admiration for the native culture. Let me explain why I say that. If this was about admiration for the native culture, first of all, you would never engage in activity that would oppress a Native American or a Native or indigenous individual from receiving what was developed and designed for them to receive. You would not take the place of trying to educate about the culture knowing that you were not authentically from it. You would absolutely hate anyone who would try to harm a culture that you actually love. No ma'am, I don't buy this, you love the culture stuff. And if this was somehow just connected to maybe a misunderstanding, why did you not let your friend clear this up when she came to you? As a matter of fact, she thought it was so strange that you would not allow that gesture, that courtesy. She said it's so strange, she had to start investigating you herself, even with evidence that you were not native. Your friend, your friend, even with that information, Believed you, believed you. And then it comes out, you in fact are not who you have been telling people you are, okay? You have no shame, Adam. Your response is you incorrectly identified yourself based on incomplete information. You see, no one is perfect, professor. None of us, not me, not you. Nobody, change is possible, transformation is available. I know that firsthand, but if you do not acknowledge what you have done, no one can expect that you have transformed because there is no transformation without acknowledgement of your deed. We'll see what happens, I'm obviously, there's a lot that she has benefited from over the years, uh, claiming to be um, an indigenous person. Uh, Dan, just unbelievable. She got away with this for so long and went to the highest levels of academia. Yeah, that's kind of what I get the most anger from out of the story is that there are opportunities that indigenous folks would love to have that she unfortunately took away just by her presence. There's a big difference between appreciation and appropriation. And considering I'm also a graduate of UC Berkeley, I would think that she was taught that there. But unfortunately, yeah. um, she's made it through the ranks there. And again, really made a lot of other folks there who have gone through the sociology program that harms them as well. So um, I hope she makes the proper reparations pun very much intended uh, on this matter for herself. And yeah. resigning should be part of that. Absolutely, and I think the other professor was spot on about the ethical integrity dynamic. Anytime you go through doctoral studies, you have to pass what's called the Institutional Review Board. You have to get certified to do actual research. And all of that is contextualized through ethical and moral behavior about how you engage the community, how you engage your content and your truthfulness in presenting that data to the public and publishing it based on a good faith notion of your accuracy. Uh, when you lack the prerequisite uh, intellectual integrity, as well as moral uh, and ethical uh, dynamics connected to you as a person, 
The answer is no. You can work somewhere else, but you should not work as a professor.